Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own coloring book t-shirt. That's a coloring shirt that you can color on with washable markers and then once you throw it into the washer all the marker goes out and your kids can recolor the shirt time and time again. So it's very simple to do. Kids absolutely love it as a craft and it's inexpensive to make. So I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do that. But before we go ahead and get into the video, if you are new to my channel, please be sure to hit that red subscribe button down below because I come out with fun videos and tips and tricks like this every week. And I would love to have you here a part of the channel. So thank you so much for doing that. And let's go ahead and get started with our video. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna need is you're going to need your shirt. Here I just have a plain white shirt that I purchased from my local craft store and you can do the same thing or you can go to Walmart or wherever you want. Just find a white shirt and you're gonna to wanna to take some um, black heat transfer vinyl as well. So go ahead and have those on hand. And the only other thing that you're going to need to complete your project is washable markers. Now, the key word here is washable. <laughs> it will not work if you do not use washable markers. So make sure that you buy the right kind. And from here, what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and decide what image we want. So I'm gonna be doing this image again. This is just a simple um, dog image that I pulled off of Google. To find images that will work best with this type of project, you're gonna to wanna to Google um, coloring book pages. And then if you have something specific in mind, go ahead and type that in front. So to do this one, I did dog coloring book pages. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera around so that you can see my computer and I'll show you exactly how to do that and what images you're looking for so that your project can turn out perfect. Okay, so here we have um, just Google pulled up on my computer and I typed in, as you can see, dog coloring book pages and it pulled up all of this. So when you are doing this, just look for an image that is, you know, easy enough to color, but not too much. So for example, something like this, this is going to be too much for what we have in mind. You're going to want to stick to something like this or this along those lines. So go ahead and save the image to your computer, whichever one you want and then go ahead and jump into Cricut Design Space. Once you go into Design Space, you wanna go ahead and upload your image and bring it in. This is the one that I have here. Again, it just came from Google. And you wanna go ahead and set it to cut. And you wanna go ahead and cut that off of your uh, Cricut. And you wanna make sure it's in heat, uh, heat transfer vinyl. So when you are going into your cut screen, you wanna make sure that you mirror your image. Since we are going to be using heat transfer vinyl. You, once you go ahead and do that, you're gonna go ahead and cut it off and your image will be like such. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my shirt and we will go ahead and go from there. So I am, um, with my heat transfer vinyl, I'm going to go ahead and press it at 305 degrees for 15 seconds. When I am doing um, heat transfer vinyl on a shirt, I usually use about three fingers as a guideline to how far down on the, on the shirt I want to start the design. Um, so I will go ahead and start mine about right here. Once you get it lined up, you want to go ahead and cover it with your Teflon. And it's 305 for me for 15 seconds. Do follow the manufacturer's uh, guidelines for whatever vinyl that you choose to use. And this is my weeded dog image that I'm going to go ahead and press down here. Okay, and it is pressed. I'm going to go ahead and remove that here, like so. Beautiful. Okay. Alrighty guys, and here it is. Here is our finished shirt. It was that simple to do. We just pulled an image from Google. We put it on a plain white shirt. We pressed it with some heat transfer vinyl. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you completely from step one to the final step, how it goes. We are gonna take our washable markers. We are gonna color on this shirt. I'm gonna wash it and I'm gonna show you just how well it comes out. So let's get started with that. Um, I'm just gonna <laughs> do some random markings on here. I'm not gonna color it all in perfectly, but just to give you the idea, I'm gonna turn my camera so you can see. All 
Alrighty. And this is just an idea. I colored some, you know, some purple, some pink on here to give you to give you that idea. I'm gonna go throw it in the wash and I'll be right back to show you what it looks like all cleaned up. Alrighty guys, and here we go. Here is our finished product that is all washed and clean and ready to be used again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you can see, it is very simple to do, it's fun to do, and best of all, it doesn't cost much money to do it. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to subscribe to my channel for other fun videos like this that I do on a weekly basis. And if you found it helpful, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching.